Hello my front end friends! Have you ever tried to animate to height auto only to have to resort to some weird hacks to actually get it to work? Well no longer, you can actually do it. I have it set up right here. You can see that this is sliding out and oh this isn't a height auto, that's actually a width auto. And with just a few quick updates here actually, I am now transitioning to height auto and it's just working. You can see here my height is zero. I'm transitioning the height right there and then here I'm going up to a height auto. It works. And if you're wondering how to do this, it's actually insanely easy now. So let's dive right into it. All right, so to get started with this, I'm not gonna con worry too much about how I set things up to actually make my navigation show up and hide. The main, the most important thing uh, is, and if you do wanna see how I did it, the code is linked in the description, but uh, the main thing is here, my nav is set to a height zero. And when my button gets an area expanded, which I'm using some JavaScript for, it's getting a height auto. And I'm also doing a visibility hidden and uh, visibility visible here. Uh, just so when it's closed, it's out of the accessibility tree as well, so people can't accidentally tab to the links that they can't see. And so when we open and close the menu, that's happening. I have my height, so we can come here. Let's just do this on a new line where I can say that we're going to do a transition of height. And this is what we want to do, right? And let's just say two seconds to make it really obvious, and we'll do an ease on there. And if I do that right now, of course, it still doesn't work, and it's super frustrating. And actually there's two different things you could do. One of them is on the element itself where you want this. Uh, you could add in the new thing, which is called interpolate size. And you just do allow keywords. And that's it. In doing this, it means if we're using a keyword such as auto, that's one of the keywords that <laughs> isn't that amazing. Oh, that just makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, there is a problem now though. When I click it, now it will disappear again. Uh, that's because I'm using my visibility. So actually, if I took my visibility off and you're doing other use cases where you might not want that, then you're good to go. That's all you need and you can use your auto there and then I can have it hide away again. So satisfying, <laughs> makes me so happy. Uh, in this case, because I am using the visibility to do this, the problem is in when I open it, it's not the end of the world, but when I close it, the visibility instantly switches to hidden and so I can't see it actually the height move away. It just means that I want to come here and add my visibility as well, visibility, and we can do a two second on that one right there. And by doing that, it will slide on open and it will slide on closed. And I wouldn't recommend doing a longer one like that, um, but yeah, that's essentially how it's working. There is a better way of doing it than throwing it on the element you want, but just really quickly before I let you know what that is, uh, if you're wondering about how you can keep up with these CSS tips and tricks and other things like that and things like this coming that are absolutely amazing, then maybe consider signing up for my newsletter where I share cool stuff that's going on in the world of CSS every week. The link for that is in the description. Uh, but let's get to what you really want, which is uh, I'll come up here and I'm removing that interpolate size from the nav. I'm just gonna go all the way up here to my root and I'm gonna put it right here instead. And it's still gonna work. And the reason this still works is because this is an inherited property. So by putting it on my root or your HTML, or you could probably get away with just putting it on your body, in any of those situations, all of a sudden this is working site-wide through any element you have on your page and it, it just works. <laughs> so it's really, really cool. Uh, and just to show you, there is uh, a little bit more we can do here. So I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna add in a data nav animation direction. It's a really long one, uh, but we're gonna say uh, horizontal instead. Uh, of So we're just changing that through. This is like a modifier class. I'm doing the data attribute. If you'd rather do it with a modifier class, by all means you can. And just so you know, this isn't just for going to height auto. You can do a little bit more with this. So let's actually take this height one off from here. Uh, and that means it should show up, except I have my visibility hidden. So for now, I'm gonna remove the visibility hidden just so we can see it. Uh, and instead, I'm gonna say that the width is zero uh, on this instead, so it will shrink that way. And let's say the height is there. We're also gonna, let's just give this a left of zero. And in this case, instead of a height auto, let's switch that one over to a width of auto. And now if I take a look, it should grow the other way, except it's not working because I'm saying height here. I also wanna say width uh, on that one as well. And now when I look, ah, oh, there we go. So we can animate auto on that way. Uh, this left zero should have clearly been over here instead. Um, but yeah, we can do auto that way as well. There we go, the code pen updated as it was opening, but we can do it that way. You probably don't want a two second animation. Um, and I'm doing this with like auto and stuff, but you could do this with other intrinsic words like min content, fit content, max content, and all of that. And it's always going to work. And as an example of that, let's just say we uh, contact us at this really long link. I don't know why you'd have that, um, but that's gonna make it <laughs> so uh, it's really long and the text is, you know, it's it's matching the width there with the width of auto. 
it's kind of weird with the reflowing text, I guess, but let's say instead of a width of auto, I said this is actually a width of min content uh, instead. So the min content means it's gonna match the longest word more or less. So it will still animate to that min content right there, which is really, really awesome. Uh, and there's probably a lot of other really cool things you can do with this, but I just wanted to, this turned into a longer video than I was even planning on. Put this on your root and then everything to auto or other intrinsic words animations to all of those just work and it's really really cool so yeah if you're interested also just don't forget about signing up for my newsletter which you can find in the description down below and with that i would like to thank my enablers of awesome andrew philip simon and tim as well as all my other patrons and channel members for their monthly support and of course until next time don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome